Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome to Night 3 of Hunttober 2020, the miniseries where I basically take a look at Halloween games, horror games, just basically games you'd find yourself playing around this time of the year. I take a look at them, give my honest and uh, unedited opinions about it, and, well, if it becomes something people want to see more of, it may become a future LP series. Tonight, we're looking at one of my favorite games for the SNES, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, made by a little, well, unknown company, rest in peace, I will miss you always, uh, company, LucasArts. Yeah, that LucasArts, the same one who basically gave us the entirety of the Star Wars games up until they sadly went out of business. Again, rest in peace, I will miss you forever. We're going to be taking a look at Zombies Ate My Neighbors today. Let's go. I'm going to play a Zeke because, well, why not? He's got the most 90s outfit and style to him out of any video game character I've ever seen. So, the style of this game is just basically a collect a thon. You gotta go around, uh, save the neighbors, and make sure they don't get killed by the zombies, the monsters, and other nightmarish things that are found throughout this game. We get, we get standard neighbors. We got the teacher, we got the babies, we got the tourists, we got the uh, soldiers, we got dude chilling in the pool. And we also have got, like, little girl on a trampoline. We got. I think a dog is one of the neighbors you can get. Yep, there's a dog. And the other one is the cheerleaders and the archaeologists. I'm sure there's also more neighbors I'm forgetting about, but that's just me being forgetful as always. So basically, this is just a game. Go around, save the neighbors, make sure not too many get killed, and uh, grab as many collectibles as you can, because for later levels, you definitely want to grab a full arsenal. You can press the... I think it was the... Yeah, Y is to attack, and... B is to swap weapons. A is to use the sub items you got, like the health kit, and X would be to swap those, but we don't have anything to back it up, so we're just gonna swap back to our squirt gun real quick and hit the L button to bring up the radar so we can figure out where the last neighbor is. I did not mean to waste one of those soda cans. Soda cans are actually really good weapons to use against the more tougher enemies in the later levels, and also against some of the boss enemies that technically for a good chunk you don't have to save. I think they're just for optional points. Ah, there's the baby. Come here, baby. Just checking this real quick, just to make sure we're very thorough with this level. Some of the things that you do check will actually have a monster hiding inside them, so it's kind of a given as to what has what. Oh, victim save bonus. And yeah, it's just basically a game of going around, saving people, and trying to navigate the pretty complex levels, and also trying your best to avoid enemies. Now for one of my favorite themes in the entire game, Evening of the Undead. I don't know what it is about this level's theme, but it's just so, like, fitting for the times. I think it's like the, the low, like, bass-like music that plays throughout it. It's really the best. As you can see, the light is actually slowly and starting to get dark because it's the evening, so it makes sense. Alright, let's pull up our mini-map real quick, or I guess this would be better classified as a radar. Let's go around, grab the neighbors that we're missing out on. A lot of them seem to be pretty well clumped together for these early levels, so we're just going to grab the little girl on the trampoline, we're going to grab the guy cooking out on the barbecue, and make a way up here. We didn't actually pick up a rocket launcher earlier, which is a pretty useful weapon. You don't get a whole lot of ammo for it to start out, so it's best to save it for like dire situations. It does a lot of damage to enemies, but it also can break open doors, break open breakable walls, and basically just be a way to outmaneuver enemies or get to items and places that have people that you need. Like, we don't have the key for the store right here, so we just shoot it, and now we get a free entry. So yeah, if you don't need to waste your keys for that stuff and you want to save it for, like, something you can't break down to get into, definitely use the rocket launcher for that. Grab the baby in here, grab the potion, which is actually a really useful item. Uh, it'll allow us to turn into a monster that does massive damage, and I also believe you're briefly invincible while doing it, or you just take really reduced damage. I think... I need to go right here. Ooh, Weed Whacker. I will grab that for later. Yep, there we go. Give me the Archaeologist. And grab the Teacher. And let's grab the Cheerleader. We're still missing someone else. 
And want to make sure that we get her before that zombie gets over there, because if zombies actually... I forget if there's like a timer or something related to it, but if they attack them for too long, they actually will die and it will affect you. Let's grab some soda cans for later, because those are always helpful. And let's... Ah, there's the final neighbor. Let's head up there. I was gonna be quiet for this moment just because I just want people to enjoy the nice little bass tone that plays throughout this level. It's so good. I listen to it occasionally, especially like when I'm doing like editing for these videos and such. It's just one of the best things to listen to this time of the year. All right, let's get out of here. All the neighbors are saved. And now, we are on to level three. Terror in aisle five. And we get introduced into some of the more annoying enemies in the game. Uh, we've had zombies for now, and yeah, they kind of are very plentiful, but they're not really too, plen uh, too dangerous. They are slow-ish and go down in one hit for basically everything. This is the level that introduces the dolls, and I hate the dolls. They are fast, they are relentless, they have projectile attacks, and they will go after neighbors pretty frequently, so you really want to make sure that you get the neighbors out before anything else. The dolls actually also have more health than the zombies do, where zombies go down one hit, dolls take like three to four hits, and they are relentless going after you. Thankfully, that's what I have the soda cans for, and I think we just lost the neighbor. If you actually hear a scream going on in the game, then that means the neighbor has died, so you gotta be faster to grab them. Usually, it's a result of just a bad placement or an enemy somehow managed to sneak up on the neighbor. I did not mean to waste a rocket right there. I wanted to get the soda cans out because the soda cans are a one-hit kill for the dolls. To a degree, sometimes there's a chance that if a soda can does take out a doll, it will basically run around as a blink uh, a burning headless body and it will still attack you for a good while before it burns up so you want to be careful if you use the soda cans let's grab some food here take care of the doll oh he's going too fast uh, the, the problem with the soda cans is that it throws at an arc so there's a good chance you will miss the the throw trajectory and you'll just end up wasting a soda can especially for these guys because they're super fast I actually didn't want to get hit by them. I wanted to try my best to get through this level because I always find myself getting hit at least once by these guys. Thankfully, since we're in a grocery store, we don't have to worry about any uh, food issues. And they're the last couple of neighbors, so let's go down there and rescue them real quick. Why is this baby behind the counter? I don't think he's certified to work in this establishment. Oh, that's left his neighbors. And I wanted to grab that without getting hit by the zombie, but unfortunately, uh, luck was never on my side. All right, let's grab the tourists and let's get out of here. Yep, we didn't get the bonus because, as I suspected, because I am actually playing with the volume a little low, which is my fault entirely. Uh, oh god, the chainsaw guys. Yeah, we lost the bonus because we lost the neighbor in the last round. This probably has my second uh, favorite theme in the entire game, just because of how foreboding and taunting it is for you. Come on, ch chainsaw through this. This entire level is comprised of these chainsaw guys. They are relentless, even more than the dolls are, because they can cut through the hedges and basically thwart any attempt to get away from them. You can... Uh, stun them for a while with the fire extinguisher, but it's not a very long-lasting effect. Best plan to do deal with these guys is just to try your best to outmaneuver them. Another issue with these guys is also the fact that, oh, these guys really love to go after neighbors. So you really want to figure out where all the neighbors are and get to them fast before the chainsaw guys reach them because they will not last long, especially with this guy right here. Right, let's spray him again. And I think I missed the turn for the teacher. 
At the very least, let's grab the tourists. Oh dear. I think we're gonna lose the teacher. Maybe. Oh, we actually did pick up pick up some clown dolls. Alright. Clown dolls are basically a distraction item. Enemies will attack that instead of neighbors. You wanna cut that down for me? No? Alright. Oh, you're gonna cut that down instead. Alright, uh, go for the doll. I think the boy to the baby was on the other side. I mean, there's a cheerleader over there. Yep, there it is. Let's grab that baby and let's get out of here. He is still going after that thing. Oh, hey, thank you for the opening. Okay, maybe not. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh. Get the neighbor. Get the neighbor. All right, bought ourselves some time, and so far, so good. We actually haven't lost a neighbor yet, but I'm about ready to lose a life. I think, well, there's the little girl on the trampoline over there, but there's also a neighbor, I believe, on the upper right area. Damn it. Ooh. He really wants me bad. All right, so we got a trampoline girl over there. We've got the teacher who just died. Well, never mind then. At the very least, we can save the trampoline girl. Because I don't think that they can get to her because she's on the trampoline and they can't attack through that. Thankfully. Also with the fact that it's kind of hard to cut through here and they don't they take their AI to go this far out of the way. Even if there is a neighbor. All right, uh, we got barbecue guy up there. Thankfully, the way to him should be right around here somewhere, I hope. We gotta take the scenic route around, I see. I'm surprised that guy didn't actually turn around and just come right after me. These guys' his AI are really unpredictable at times. That's probably the best terminology to use against them. But thankfully, so long as we got our trusty fire extinguisher, we shouldn't be too worried. I say that as I get hit twice. If anything, I'll just use a clown to fall back on. But I shouldn't be able to because there is the cookout dude. Head up here real quick and let's see what's inside here. Hopefully something good. Nope. All right, time to go. Watch him do a little dance, celebrating me finally getting out of his way. <sighs> Almost made it through this level without losing a neighbor. Password, Gert! Level 5. Weird kids on the block, if you actually haven't noticed by now. A lot of the title names for these levels are just based off of old uh, horror movies, monster movies, all that stuff. I kind of like it. It's really cheesy. And I enjoy some good cheesiness. I'm just going to throw a couple of soda bombs over there and uh, just use a squirt gun against these guys. They're really easy to deal with. They're just a lot of them because it's a weird kids on the block kind of thing. Oh, no, we have kids. New kids on the block. I think that's what it's, I think that's the name of the movie that this is level supposed to be referencing. But yeah, they're everywhere and they just keep popping up all over the place. So you just want to be really fast at getting neighbors. Definitely want to grab those utensils right there. They're really useful against some super annoying enemies later on. And I can't get through there unless I have a rocket. Thank you. And front on the other side is a key, of course. Cookout's over, buddy. Alright. I don't think there's anything else up here. This is where I started. So let's just move over here. See if there's anything in the trash. Unfortunately not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eh, damn it. Yeah, the mushroom dudes that kind of remind me of Earthbound enemies are... 
really annoying because, well, A, you got to need to use the Weed Whacker to even get through the area they're in, and B, uh, they were in a really bad place and I couldn't get to the neighbor in time. Got the teacher over here. And let's grab that med kit because I really need a med kit right about now. Oops, I didn't mean to waste a rocket there. I wanted to see if there was anything in that chest over there. And there was. Or cabinet, I guess. Alright, that seems everything in the house. So we got a dude chilling down in the pool down here. So let's go and rescue him real quick. Pool dude, I think, is also another neighbor that can't be killed easily by the monsters and zombies and such. I think there's only like one specific monster that can actually hurt him. But that's not till like much later in the game. I can always use more ammo. And some more fire extinguishers. And more keys. Well, I've been getting a lot of keys lately. Alright, nothing else here, so let's just make our way down here. Do a little bit of lawn mowing. And let's rescue the cheerleaders. I probably should save her first because she's down in the mushroom area and the mushroom dude might come by and kill her. I'm surprised I actually haven't run into the, the trap monster inside one of the chests over here. I keep calling them chests or cabinets. Basically, it's just a random RNG chance of getting a monster instead of an item and or else uh, just nothing at all. But whatever. There's the last neighbor. Let's get out of here. I don't know what the three me's up there were doing. They are having a party. Not a party I probably would want to be invited to, though. More shocking than level 5. Pyramid of Fear. Oh, no, the Pyramid. I forgot this was the level 6. Oh, the Pyramid. How I hate thee because this level is one gigantic maze and I am not a fan of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Also, the mummies. I really hate the mummies here because they are really powerful enemies. Nope, 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 nope. Don't you dare go after him. Alright, we're here over there. So instead, I'm gonna go up here real quick because I think there's a neighbor all the way up here on the top left. Yep, there they are. If you can guess what the theme for the neighbors in this area are, it's tourists and archaeologists, which I guess makes sense. Why there's a Egyptian pyramid all the way out in this American suburb, I don't know. Maybe we're in Nevada or something. Yep, ah, oh, damn it. I actually thought I could get through this video without actually running into one of the trap monsters. But nope. No such luck for me. Wow, I ran into him twice. That's horrible luck for me. He's making up for all the times he never got me in the past several levels. There you are. Anything here? He is really determined to get me. Ooh, cross. Definitely a worthwhile item for vampire enemies later. There's a neighbor over here, but I think that's the one that's in that, like, one-off room that I can't get to. Ah, the mummies are horrible. They take, like, forever to kill with the, the squirt gun, and the only surefire way to deal with them fast is to use the soda bombs. I 
believe that the last neighbor should be like at the far right. We're just gonna take an expressway to him. Yep, there they are. All right, uh, before I go through the exit portal, I wanna see, nope, okay, going through the exit portal. No need to stay here longer than I have to. Level seven. Dr. Tun's Castle of Terror. I would say this is probably my third favorite theme of the entire game. Oh, but I also forgot what I get to fight in this, so I need to get myself some silverware. Because... This level introduces werewolves, and they're really, really annoying because of those long jumps they do. Thankfully, if you got silverware because, you know, silver weakness to a werewolf and all, it is a basic one-hit kill for them. And it's also super bad because in later levels, the tourist neighbors turn into werewolves. It's basically like a, an American Werewolf in London reference, and it, it's really annoying. I don't like it, and it actually counts as you losing the neighbor. Because, you know, you have to kill them and all. Give me my squirt gun. There we go. All right. And I think I... Yep, I just lost the cheerleader. Damn it. All that work for nothing. All right. Well, in that case, let's just head into the castle proper. Uh, I don't have a... Oh, wait. No, I do have one. Oh, actually, I have two. something good behind these curtains. Thank you. I'll gladly take that key. Oh, boy. Grab ourselves. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but I'll pick it up anyways. First, and let's go through the secret pathway through the fireplace. And up here is a treasure room full of money, 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 money. Uh oh, Just going for the baby. Save the baby there. Let's grab ourselves some potion. Mm. I could. I might be thinking of the other castle level that has the secret entrance with the secret boss. Yeah, I guess that's the case. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know why, but the way that mummy was moving down there, it looked like he had a heart attack coming out of that sarcophagus. Ah, so close. 40 feet of terror in a level 8 Titanic toddler. Oh, boy. It's time for everyone's favorite first boss. Qu quote, unquote. Wow, that was he didn't actually hit me that time. That was weird. How do you feel about a giant baby? How do you feel about a really fast gigantic baby? How about a really fast, gigantic baby that can kill the neighbors in only a few seconds? Well, if you said yes to all of those, congratulations, you're a masochist. I'm jealous. Let's just go up here. Can I blow this open with a rocket? No, we cannot. All right, well, in that case, uh, let's get the dolls out. Just, ooh, there's something hidden back there. I think it was some keys. I will gladly take those. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh boy. Go away, baby. All right, 
Thankfully, we managed to actually save all the neighbors in the yard that the baby runs around in. So we don't have to worry about losing any of them right now. So in the meantime, I'm going to use that to get any missing items that we can snag around here. I think I can blow a hole right here. Yep. I want to do that to grab the Pandora's box down here. Really good item. It helps clear the screens of enemies and such and does a lot of damage to bosses. Alright, kid. Come on. Come here. Come here. You're a baby. You like dolls? Alright, you know what? Monster time. I think the monster is actually a really good strategy to use against the baby here if you actually have a few extra potions on you. Keep wailing away at this kid. Sooner or later, he'll give up. The kid's got a lot of health, I will admit. But it's not going to be enough to save him. I don't care if I have to beat up a giant baby. I'll do what it takes to get out of this level. There we go. Take care of the baby. Got the key. And now we can finally go rescue the two cheerleaders and get out of here. All right, that was actually not that bad of a level, to be honest. I remember having a lot of trouble against him in that fight because he would always kill the two neighbors inside the yard with him. But thankfully, we were able to deal with him without any problems. Level 9. Toxic Terrors. This level introduces the slimes, but it also reintroduces my favorite theme. Best way to deal with a slime, I think. No, it's not that, it's just to freeze them. I think they actually stay frozen permanently. Nope, nope, they don't stay frozen permanently. But they will kill a neighbor fast, jeez. For the longest time, I was trying to figure out what is being said during that segment of Evening of the Undead. I think they're saying that, is there anyone outside? Which, I guess makes sense, because it's the evening, they're checking to make sure no one's left outside. So let's just head over here. Grab ourselves some more fire extinguishers. Jeez, did one of the slimes mortar shot into the house? Oh, yep, they are. No, I didn't mean to drink the potion. I didn't want to be a monster. I hit the wrong button. Oh, dear. Oh, they are going after the neighbors hard this time around. Let's let rescue him, at least. Let's grab the tourists. Let's get out of here. Unfortunately, when you're a monster, you can't pull up the minimap or go swimming, so your exploration is very limited. Uh, that's the downside to having so much power and invincibility. Alright, well, either way, we got all the neighbors that we could save, so let's just open up this real quick, grab some soda bombs, and let's get out of here. All right, I think we have enough time for one more level before we call the video here. Level 10. No assembly required. Oh, with a title like that, you know what that means. It's time for more dolls. I think this is the only enemy in this entire level is nothing but dolls, which means I need to get my soda out. I will say, one good thing about using the soda bombs for this level, you can lob them over walls to deal with enemies in other rooms. Alright, just want to exhaust all my options. Hi. Before we go out and I bust out the heavy artillery.
Jeez, so many killer dolls in here. It's like that one level of Condemned 2. Oh boy. Uh oh. He's still on fire. He's still on fire. Oh, he is still. He is relentless. Sir, you appear to be on fire. Here, let me put you out. Okay, there's a neighbor up ahead. He's up there, I see him. And I wasn't paying attention to my health. Thankfully, this game is good when it comes to level uh, revives because you just revive immediately with some invincibility frames right where you died. Which is good. Uh, excuse me, can I please pass through? Pass through? Thank you very much. Ooh, boy. Too many dolls. Oh, dear. Way too many dolls. I will gladly take a potion. Thank you very much. All right, there's the two neighbors. Right, run this way. Go down here. Oh, boy. Uh, he's trapped down here. Thankfully, I got some rockets. That I think I'm about ready to lose a neighbor to. Ooh boy. I'm surprised he did not uh, die to that doll. You would think that, that a trained soldier would be able to deal with some, just something so small, only wielding an axe when he's got a gun strapped to his back. I mean, I'm using things as soda for crying out loud to kill them, so he shouldn't have too much trouble. Now, a baby, on the other hand, that's understandable, but it's seriously, a trained soldier? All right, let's get out of here. Oh, boy. That level was always hectic. Although, I'm surprised I didn't lose anyone during it, especially that soldier dude. Let's go berserk in. Weed gone bad. Unfortunately, this... Lawn Nightmare is going to have to wait for another video, if this ever becomes a full series. But yeah, that's Zombies Hate My Neighbors. It's a really fun game, it's a really challenging game at times, and wow, this lawn has really let itself go. Uh, my overall score for this, I will give it the spooky thumbs up of approval, because this is generally one of my favorite all-time SNES games, and it's on the list of one of the best SNES games for a lot of people. I honestly do feel like I want to come and repay this a visit as a Halloween series sometime in the future, despite uh, viewer input, because I really do enjoy this game that much. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it off. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for what you would like to see down for a future video, please leave it in the comments. And with that, I'm out. Have a good night, everybody.